the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Hear now these words of encouragement from Holy Scripture that have comforted God's people through the ages in times of lost. From the Psalms. The Lord is our strength and our shield. The Lord is a very present help in trouble. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear God. As a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you, says the Lord. Jesus says to his disciples, come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. And Jesus also said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Jesus said in the Gospel of John, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Will you join me in prayer? O oh God, who gave us birth, you are ever more ready to hear than we are to pray. You know our needs before we ask. Show us now your grace that as we face the mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity. Speak to us once more in this celebration of life together, your solemn me message of life and of death. Help each one of us here to live as Nancy did, as one who was prepared to die, so that when our days here are ended, enable us to die as those who go forth to live, so that living or dying, our life may be in Jesus Christ our Lord. Eternal God, we bless you for the great company of all those who've kept the race, their faith, finished their race, and who now rest from their labor. We praise you for those dear to us, whom we name in our hearts before you. And especially today, <clears throat> we thank you for Nancy, whom you have now received into your kingdom. Help us to believe where we have not seen, trusting you to lead us through our years and bring us at last with all of your saints into the joy of your home. Again, through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. As uh, Jay and Scott er Son Scott and wife Erica and I sat around the kitchen table on Thursday morning talking about music and scriptures and sharing stories. Scott reminded us that Nancy was always upbeat. And indeed, she had told me plainly, no old rugged cross today. She loved that hymn, but she wanted this service to be one of joy as we are remembering her here because she is with Jesus, who was the joy of her life. So if you are able, will you stand and sing with me, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. Mm -hmm. 